Today I'm going to show you exactly how much cash flow we pocketed by selling put and call options as well as collecting some dividends last month in October. This will give you an idea of the kind of cash flow you can potentially receive by trading options. I'm also going to talk through four of my favorite trades that will help you see how you can use options to generate awesome cash flow every month in your account. I'm Randy Perez. I'm a 22 plus year stock and option trader as well as real estate investor. If you're already a member of our community, thank you for setting aside a part of your day to be here. If you're not already a member of this community, go ahead and click the subscribe button and bell notification. You'll be joining a community of traders and investors that are helping each other become more profitable and knowledgeable. Here you see a list of every option trade we did last month in October. The blue boxes are the trades that we're going to talk about in this video. We will discuss our current LEAP option trade position in Disney, as well as trades in 3M, Cisco, and Coca-Cola. In the red boxes at the top and the bottom, you see that we put $1,596 cash into our pocket by selling our core Civic ticker symbol CXW stock. And we use that cash to buy to close some of the short put options in Geo Group. Now at the bottom, you see that as a result of selling options, we pocketed $8,355 in premium. Trading commissions cost us $56.30, as you can see in the orange box. In the blue box at the bottom left, you see that we pocketed $189 in dividends during the month of October. So in all, we pocketed $10,083.70 from selling stock, buying and selling options, and collecting some dividends. That's real cash we put into our pocket. We can use it to pay bills, reinvest, or even go on vacation. It's our cash to keep. If you annualize that return, it equates to a 21.5% annualized cash on cash return. What's your next goal that you're trying to achieve by selling options and trading stocks? Is it to have some extra money to help pay some bills? Or is it to become a full-time stock and option trader? In the comments below, please let me know what your current goal is. And stay tuned in until the end of this video where I will update you on a position I know many of you are interested in, my Disney Leap option position. We are up over 228% on this position over just the past eight months. And I will share with you all the details, including the trade I did last month, so you can do a similar trade using leap options. The first trade I want to briefly share with you shows the power of trading in consistently profitable, solid dividend paying stocks like 3M. Here on the screen, you see the trade that we did. As you can see, we bought to close the October 165 short put options, and we had to pay 53 cents to do that. We then sold the November 3rd Friday of the month $165 put options and received $5.90 per share. So we received a net of $5.37 per share. There's nothing really special about this trade except for one thing, the return. If you analyze the return that we got for those 38 days, it equates to a 31% annualized non-leverage return. If you analyze the return based on the margin requirement of $5,861, then the annualized return is 176%. This is a company that's been around since 1902 that has paid uninterrupted dividends for over 100 years and has raised its dividend payout for 60 straight years in a row, making it a dividend king. As you can see, you don't have to trade in ridiculously risky stocks to get awesome returns. You can trade options in safe, mature, stable, dividend-paying companies like 3M and still get a great return. If you haven't seen it already, in my previous video, I showed every trade that I've done in 3M over the past two years. If you'd like to see how you can beat the market using options, check out that video once you're done with this one. The link will be above in the description below. It's entitled, How to Beat the Market Using Options. The next trade is in a company that many people would also call a boring dividend paying stock, even though many of us really like their products. I'm referring to Coca-Cola. This is an exceptionally solid company. Coca-Cola was started by a pharmacist in Atlanta, Georgia in 1886. It has become the world's largest seller of drinks. It has over 4,300 products through more than 500 brands in over 200 countries. It is truly an international company. Its portfolio of products includes $21 billion brands. Coca-Cola has been increasing its dividend every year since 1962. So it also, like 3M, is a dividend king. And yet, by using options, we're able to generate a 28% annualized cash-on-cash -cash return. One of the reasons why I like trading options with Coca-Cola is that it's a fairly stable stock. 
that tends to make it more challenging to get good option premium. But as you can see, if you keep your eyes open for an opportunity, you can receive awesome returns on a company like Coca-Cola. It just so happened that on expiration day, Coca-Cola was trading right at our short strike price. So we were able to roll that $50 short put option out and generate an awesome return. One of the reasons why I felt comfortable rolling this $50 short put option out is because Coca-Cola was bumping up against and finding nice support at the 50 and 200 moving averages on both the daily and weekly charts. Here you see the trade we did at Coca-Cola last month. On October 16th, option expiration day, we bought to close the $50 short put options that were expiring that day for six cents. And we sold to open the third Friday of the month, November 50 put options for $1.40 per share. That means we put a net of $1.34 per share in our pocket. If you annualize that return for the 35 days that we would max be in this position, it equates to a 28% annualized cash on cash return in Coca-Cola. Let's now look at the return based on the margin requirement. Here you see that the margin requirement for this position is $2,828. So if you analyze the return based on the required margin, it equates to a 197% annualized return. If you'd like more information on how we use moving averages to pick the strike prices that we sell our put and call options at, once you finish this video, check out the video in the link above in the description below entitled, How to Trade Using Technical Analysis. So the lesson in this Coca-Cola trade is don't forget to keep an eye on those older, solid, stable dividend stocks to trade options in. In my opinion, it's a lot less risky to trade options in those kind of companies than some of the high-flying, newer companies that haven't even begun to turn a profit yet. Also, use technical analysis to position the strike prices of the options you sell. These two tips will greatly improve the stability in your account, your return, and the odds of you winning on your trades. Next, we're going to talk through another trade we did this past month that you can do also that is paying us over 28% annualized cash on cash. But if you're liking the video, why don't you do me a favor and tap the thumbs up button. It helps support the channel and it means a lot to me. And stay tuned in until the end of this video where I will give you an update on our Disney Leap call option position. I will share with you one of the few ways I actually like to buy options instead of just selling them. This is a trade that we've been in for quite a while and the returns are only improving every single month. The third trade I want to talk through is in a stock that's in the technology sector. The company is Cisco Systems, ticker symbol CSCO. Cisco is a whole lot newer of a company than the previous two we just spoke about. Cisco was founded in 1984 and it's become one of the most important technology companies in the world. They are shifting their business model away from cyclical hardware sales and focusing more on reoccurring software and service revenue driven business. I really like a company that generates reoccurring revenue. It's a dividend paying company, but it's only been paying a dividend since 2011. But it's raised its dividend every year since then. Here you see a breakdown of Cisco's revenue by product category and services and also by geographical location. Besides routers and switches, which make up 58% of its revenue, Cisco gets 11% of its revenue from applications, 25% from services, and 5% from security. It does get 60% of its sales from the Americas, another 25% from Europe, the Middle East, and Africa, and the remaining 15% from Asia. In my opinion, Cisco is a solid dividend paying company with a bright future. It's been beaten down recently because of some issues it's facing, but I think it's a company that will continue to throw off tremendous cash flow. We actually did two different trades in Cisco in October. The first trade is in the blue rectangle. It was a brand new position which put me at a full position or allotment for Cisco. I simply sold to open the $39 strike put options on October 12th that expire on November 20th. For that, we received $1.32 per share. If you annualize that cash on cash return, it equates to a 31.7% annualized return. The second trade in Cisco was rolling the one short put option at the $40 strike price that expired on October 16th. So in the top red rectangle, you see that we bought that one to close on expiration day for 25 cents. And notice what we did as we rolled this position. We bought to close the $40 strike put option and sold to open the third Friday of November $39 strike put option for $1.33 per share. So we rolled the option down by $1 and still pocketed $1.08 per share. If you annualize that return, not including the dollar that we lowered our strike price by, we were still paid an over 28% annualized cash on cash return. 
The reason why I rolled the strike price down by a dollar is because as you can see on the chart, Cisco has been declining since August. I'm not sure if it will continue to decline and maybe try and head back down toward its previous low from March, which is around $32 per share. So I want to take advantage of some great option premiums to roll our strike price down and still generate an awesome return. Overall, if you calculate the annualized return based on the margin requirement for our two Cisco trades last month, it equates to a 202% annualized return on margin. The lesson here is you don't have to wait until the very bottom of a stock's move to begin selling put options. Cisco might continue to go lower or it might not. But when I see a stock in which I'm short put options that is still showing some weakness and I have an opportunity to pocket some awesome returns and roll the strike price down to protect myself in case of future price declines, well, it's time to use one of the tips and tricks of being an option trader and take advantage of the opportunity. I could have received a better return by rolling the $40 strike price put option out instead of down to $39, but I wanted to position myself a little bit better in case Cisco continues to decline. I was able to do that and still generate an awesome return. At the beginning of this video, I told you I would give you an update on our Disney Leap Call option position. I don't buy options very often, but this is one of the few techniques I use to buy options, and you'll see why I love using Leap options so much. They can generate awesome cash flow and at the same time produce returns that can make you a ton of money. Here's our current leap call option position in Disney. As you can see, the current value of this position is $38.83. Initially, we bought the January 22 $85 leap call option in the blue rectangle, which is now worth $57.84 per share. At the same time, we sold the January 22 $150 leap call option, which is in the red rectangle. It's now worth $15.29 per share. Since then, we've been selling short-term one and two month call options against this position. The most recent short-term call option we sold is in the orange rectangle. It's the November 20th, $140 call option. It's now worth $3.72 per share. So the overall current value of this position is $38.83 per share. Notice in the blue rectangle on the bottom that our cost basis in this leap call option Disney position is $1,181. If you divide that by the 100 shares, then our cost basis is now only $11.81 per share. That means that we are currently up $27.02 per share on this position. Right now, we are one week out from that November $140 short call options expiration, so I should be able to roll that short call option and receive another credit over the next week, which will again lower our cost basis. Also, notice the order I have sitting out there to try and roll the long leap position I own at the $85 strike price, which expires in January of 22. I'm trying to roll that out to January of 23. I'm also going to roll my long strike price up. I'll be able to get a nice credit for this trade and should be able to reduce my cost basis to zero. At that point, as long as I manage this position properly, I will have an infinite return because I will have received more cash by selling my call options against the long leap option I own, as well as from rolling that long leap option up than what the position cost me. But at present, I'm up $27.02 per share and the cost basis is $11.81 per share. So we are up 228% on the current cost basis over the past eight months. If you'd like more details on this trade, how it has progressed, and how I like to use leap options to generate monthly cash flow, as well as awesome returns, check out the video series in the link above in the description below entitled Leap Options. If you'd like daily or weekly information on our exact trades, as well as our current open option orders, consider becoming a patron in the link in the description below. You'll be receiving awesome information that you can use to become a better, more profitable option trader, all while supporting this channel. And a quick shout out and a big thank you to our current Patreon members. Thank you for your support. Check out the videos in the link above in the description below for more of my secret tips and strategies entitled Trade Options Like a Pro. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.